Pontypridd in South Wales was deeply divided over the EU referendum, in the end backing leave. Tonight its MP reignited that debate by voting against the wishes of many of his constituents. Eight and five. 85. Will he be forgiven? Certainly some have lost patience with Parliament, but at this afternoon bingo session, opinion was mixed. Rachel Rees, a retired nurse, voted leave. Mary Greenhill, who worked in a shoe shop, remain. I feel that um, we haven't really got an MP that will stand for us. And I, I do... And I don't agree with the fact that um, they go into Parliament, they say what they want to say, but they don't consider us. Her friend thinks rebelling was right. Well, how are they going to be better off out of it? Why do they think we are going to be better off out of it than we are in it? I, I, I am not an answer to that. I don't know. Fears of economic decline were why their constituency MP backed Remain. Surprisingly, perhaps, this local businessman is much less gloomy. He says he's optimistic a good deal can be done with the rest of the EU and disappointed with his MP. The economy is so intrinsically linked with trade with the European Union in both directions that it's difficult to see a situation where they would want to damage that relationship any more than is necessary. A future outside the EU looks bleaker in Wales than many parts of Britain. Two thirds of its exports go to the continent. Some remain optimistic about a new relationship with Europe. Others, though, are deeply worried. Daryl Burt is a mechanic who fears for his job. Even though he's skilled in the latest engine technology, the future now seems uncertain. Everything was secure as it was. Um, I think uh, leaving is a big mistake, but, um, you know, I'm just a technician, so what do I really know about it? But, you know, um, you know I personally would have stayed in the EU. The view from the valleys, still as divided as Labour nationally. Libby Vina, News at 10, Pontypridd.